podcast game. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy KG back in the workshop studio. Hope everybody having a blessed day. Feeling pretty good myself, guys. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video. Um, be honest with you guys, I haven't been doing all that great lately. Um, a lot of things have been coming my way. Kind of had me a little bit bitter and a little bit discouraged, but you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately and I realized I had to get back on my on my game, you know, I have, um, even though I've been busy a lot lately, gang, I've been really thinking about you guys, I've been really wanting to get into this video, nevertheless, it's another day I'm back, um, just to touch on a little bit of what's been going on with me, I don't really like to too much talk about, um, negative things, because I try to keep the channel positive, majority of the time, uh, but lately, it's like for the last few weeks, guys, been taking a couple of hits. First, somebody uh, broke into my garage, stole my lawnmower a few weeks back. Um, lawnmower I just bought last year. It was, you know, I was kind of really upset about it because, you know, I hate to have things taken from me. You know, it's just one of my pet peeves. It just really destroys me. And sad, like, and um, just trying to get over that, get through that. I had to go purchase a new line more. And then, uh, just about a little over a week ago, almost two weeks now, I uh, car side swiped me and hit my car. And um, to my side mirror, my driver's side mirror off, um, and hit my tire in such a way that the tire. One tire is turned and the other tire is going the opposite direction. So, either knock my control arms, my bushings, or something, something is off, and um, I couldn't drive the car. Uh, you know, it just really dampened my week. Like I just back on the on the, uh, public transportation, the bus and the train, the L, getting back and forth to work, back and forth to school. I mean. It's just been leaving me kind of bitter, guys. So, apologize to you guys. Just want to let you guys know a little bit about what's going on with me. Well, I haven't been recording. I haven't been feeling too good lately. Uh, all those things are going quite well, guys. I can't really be too bottled up into negativity because things, all those things that's been happening, other things that's been going awesome, guys. So, for all you guys to shout out and send me messages and say, you know, or just uh, seeing how you doing, or what's up, or you know, you know who you are. A few of you guys that that reach out to me and you know check on your boy every now and then, and I really do appreciate that. It really goes a long ways, gang. So, uh, getting into this video, guys. Welcome back, welcome back. I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Anybody that's new to the channel, uh, if you watch me for the first time. You might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Turn on all post notifications so you won't miss a single video from your boy. My videos has been kind of sporadic here and there. Um, I aim to do daily vlogs or at least a few vlogs a week. It's been really tough right now, guys. But, you know, going forward into the future, you know, that's what I aim to do. So, you know, get involved now. You know, watch the growth. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. And we're going to get right into this video. Um, I finished the diorama. <laughs> it's finally 100% complete. Might as well say 100%. 99%. Uh, I worked on it without, without you guys. Uh, it came to a point where I was just super, super behind. It's a diorama that I started building in January. Beginning of the year. And... When I first, first started building this diorama, I thought I would be finished, like, at least toward the end of February. Like, I didn't think it was going to nearly take as long as it did, but other things came up. Other work came up. You know, I started, like I said, I started working on it in January. I didn't touch it at all in February or March, I believe. It sat for two months, which is the beginning of it, and finally got back into it in April, and... Here we are, 
you know, in May. In May, and it's finished, guys. Uh, shout out to uh, Ken Johnson. Uh, you have been great, bro. I just wanted to say that. I had it off my chest. Like, I, you have been awesome. I'm glad I picked you for the winner of the diorama. Ken has not messaged me not one time saying, how's the diorama coming along? You know, when you're going to finish the diorama? None of that. And I really do truly appreciate that. I appreciate that. Because you have some guys out there that just keep messaging you, asking you about it. And, you know, worrying about it, which, which probably would have pushed me along a little faster. But I appreciate people like uh, like KJ. And uh, I know you watch the videos. Let me get right into it, guys. But before I show you the diorama, since it's been a while since I did a video, I'm going to show you guys some of the new stuff I acquired in my collection. Yeah. I'm always picking up new die cast, guys. I'm a true addict. And I'm going to show you guys right now. Right now, real quick, before I get into that, guys, I'm going to just show you around the workshop studio real fast. Show you some of the things that's been going on. My shop, my workshop, I call it my workshop studio. Where I'm at right now, because I do a lot of my work here and all my diecast display is here, so that makes it a studio. Uh, it's been a whole ton of mess, guys. It's been stuff everywhere, which absolutely drives me crazy. I'm already tight on space, like, I only can fit so much stuff, and it's starting to get absolutely ridiculous, and I'm starting to realize. Uh, I'm a true addict and I have a problem. Well, some people might say it's a good problem to have. I don't know, but I never thought I would have cards and boxes and stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys. So the camera. Runs. Alrighty, guys. A lot going on here. I'm always pretty much switching stuff around. Uh, this right down here is my headache right here. All this stuff. That's just piled up on my floor right here. It's absolutely driving me insane. I did a huge unboxing a while back, a, a couple of months ago. Here's my 1 in 64 scale collection. A lot of uh, premiums here. Matter of fact, this, this is all brand new to me. I don't have a super lot of nothing. A lot of knowledge on 164 scale cars. I'm still learning. Well, I'm just learning. Put it like that. But um, I dived in head first into the deep end with the 164 scales, guys. I just, it's nothing, it's something, brother. <laughs> Trying to get myself together. It's something I thought I would never do. It's collect 164 scales. I always said I wouldn't. I wasn't interested in them up until like of September of last year, which was 2002. Uh, all these was bought between now and September of last year. And that's not all of them, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Here are all the remnants of all the cards, all the boxes. I mean, and that's not all of them. It's a bunch more. It's a box right here. Some more cards in them. And basically, guys, I'm on the fence because I don't want to throw away these cards yet because some of them got a lot of nice art, card art on them that I can use for my dioramas. Like, I'm, I'll explain that to you, some of you guys later. But I have to go through all this stuff. Decide what I want. Some of these cards I'm going to actually get rid of. Because it's just too much. Uh, normally I keep all my boxes for my 1 in 24 skills. Like this one. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. Just bear with me. If I can get down into this box. Another box. I keep all my. My 1 in, my one in um, 24 scale boxes. Never throw them away. A motorcycle box in there. This right here, just a bunch of crap, guys. It's, it's just, I have to do something about it. I have to clean this stuff up. 
Here's a new car I just got that I'm gonna show you guys. Here's another one down here. Still in the box I just got. I haven't unboxed these one the 24th that I wanted to show you guys. I actually had them a little over a couple of weeks. So <clears throat> peek at the diorama. I'm just gonna show you these right quick. This is my new uh Fox Body 89 Ford Mustang I just acquired. It's a Myho exclusive. Miho, however you say that. An exclusive. One of my friends in uh in my Facebook group, in our Facebook group. Put me up on that one. Just dropped it. And I really like it, guys. This is, that's like my fifth or sixth Fox body in that casting. It's a different color. Picked up another uh, Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 in the red. I had a plan for this one. You guys, to do a wheel swap. And that's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, when shopping online, <laughs> some of the things you might not know, like the scale sizes. Normally, I always pay attention to the scale sizes, but a few things out there that you might buy and I might not have a scale size. So, um, it's a long, kind of long, to hard to explain this, but <clears throat> I got this fresh idea off a of Facebook group. I was watching a live interview. Uh, one of my guys was doing Jared Farron, the founder of Jada Toys Game. As a matter of fact, I'm rocking some of my JTG gear right now, my, my t shirt and my, my hat. But he was doing an interview with Lewis. I think his name is Tanahara. Or Tanahara. Better known as Big L, one of the uh, creators over at Jada Toys. From the very beginning, this guy. Uh, he did a nice interview. I really enjoyed watching it. And Lewis was mentioning something about, uh, I think it was Road, Road Rippers or Rec Royale. I think it was Rec Royale. It was this little car brand. <clears throat> and they made little bitty cars like this. And they had nice wheels on them, guys. So. As soon as the interview was over, I went directly online, guys, and started looking for these Rec Royale cars. Because I wanted to see if I could find me some nice wheels. Because I love doing the wheel swaps on my cars. So, as I was searching Rec Royale, I came across Road Rippers. Which is kind of the same. I didn't buy any Rec Royale. Which I might do. I still plan to do uh, in the future. But these Road Rippers had the same deal going on. Little small cars. I said, and they had huge tires that actually matched up with the with the one in uh, 24 scale cars. And the wheels off of this, I'm going to show you that I did. Put them on my truck here. Let me show you guys. Here. This truck right here. You can get a little peek of sneak peek of the diorama in the background there, guys. But took the wheels off of this roll rippers. I paid like nine, eight, nine dollars for this for this car online. The wheels came right off and fit right on my truck with no problem. I did actually take the tires off though because the tires were a little bit too big. Well, when we had a smooth roll, and I wrapped the tires with some black tape to give it the low profile with to actually give it some black on the wheels you know i think it came out awesome guys i love it um <clears throat> moving along another piece that i got i was looking for red yes sir 1965 ford kind of line I was looking for this thing for quite some time, guys. I'm a, I'm a big fan of collecting 
the Jada brand models with the car and the figure. Uh, they come with die cast figures. They all. I try to get all of them, guys. I'm only missing like maybe a handful as of now. So that's where the Eminem truck. Another one I picked up. I believe on the same day. I got my Ram Chargers, 2015 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. And this is another one, guys, I was looking for. Because I have the other, um, I have two more Ram Chargers like that, which is right here on my shelf. This is the uh, Daytona. And I got the charger, the charger, and this is the M2 brand. But the livery is exact, so I'm glad to add this one to it, guys. Another variant, another different car. It's really cool, really, really cool. Another piece, guys, moving along. Picked up this 1971 Chevy Camaro high roller. Another piece I was looking for, guys. Happened to find it at Target. Very nice. Got the Mickey Tom Thompson stickies in the back. Slicks. Looking real good. Um, another 124 scale, guys. Found this the same day I found all the other three. 1957 Chevy Bel Air. The big time muscle group. Really nice piece, guys. I was happy to find this one. I love my, my Bel Airs, my, my Tri Fives, and you know, all my old schools. It's one thing about me, guys. I collect some of everything. I, I love all different cars from tuners to old schools to low riders to trucks to motorcycles. I mean, it just goes, it just goes and goes, guys, so, that's some of the one, that's 24 skills, new stuff I acquired, and I have a whole full box right here, gang, I'm not gonna go through it right now, but this box is filled with, uh, 164s. Absolutely crazy. All brand new stuff. Got some green lights and trucks. Some premium stuff down in there. And it's a bunch of mainland down in the bottom. But I'm not getting too hyped over the the treasure hunts, guys. The super treasure hunts. I have one uh treasure hunt that a friend gave me down in the box. I'm not gonna pull it out right now. I'll show you this guy from a different video. Pull them all out. Let's see what see what I got, guys. Not only that, and man, I just told you I, I just started collecting these in, in September of last year. Uh, I got a few fast packs on the wall. It's kind of dark over here in this corner. Got a few more fast packs right here. I mean, yeah. Boy bag were absolutely crazy. I see something. And these five packs are kind of weird. I got a couple few nine packs. Like I said, I'll show you all that 164 scale in another video. All that jazz. It's just a lot going on. So, we're going to get into this diorama showing guys it's something I'm excited about. Shout out to KG. Shout out to the whole JTG, Jada Toys Gang. If you're a member of the Jada Toys Gang and you watch me, take a moment to go down the comments section and, you know, throw up a game fan like this in the comments if you're part of JTG. Uh, it's a group that really has changed my insight on collecting a whole lot. So, really means a lot to me. We're going to get... Okay, I think I'm about ready to show you guys this diorama, guys. 
I'm gonna stop the video. Let's get it all set up for you. Okay, here we are, guys. Shout out to Ken Johnson once again. Congratulations, man. Finally finished your diorama. Connie Islands Custom. That's the sign that I made. He wanted Connie Items Customs with an S, but I took the S off and just made it custom. Hope you don't mind that. That's just because I wanted the design to be a certain way. But before I get off into the details of this diorama, uh, I just want to say how Ken won a diorama. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to get my thoughts together. Um... Way back in December last year, I believe it was, I put out a comment at the end of one of my videos saying, simply, just, what did I say? I said, uh, if anyone is interested in one and 30 second scale, if you collect one and 30 second scale, you know, and you like one and 30 second scale, just get in the comments and let me know, you know, simply that you like one and 30 second scales and... I might have something for you. That's all I said. Just to see, because it was a toward the end of the video. It was kind of a long video. Kind of how this one probably going to end up being. But Ken was the only one that got in the comment section and was like, Yo, I love uh, one of the 30 second scales. And I collect one of the 30 second scales. And I was like, Cool. I got one. Ever since then, I've been planning on this building this diorama. And uh I wanted to go all in. <clears throat> the reason why I was doing this, this is kind of like an experiment actually for me, which I never mentioned. Um uh, I have a lot of people requesting bills from me, and I don't really have experience on like shipping, uh as far as shipping, you know, things like this. So this is Kind of like a learn, learning curve. It's a free, 100% free giveaway that I've done. Um, Ken pretty much didn't have no say-so on the details in this thing. He, I just told him I was doing him a 1 30 second scale diorama. And I asked him about the name and a few colors. And that's it. Everything else was off the top of my head. A bit off the top of my head, so... I know you guys are excited. I'm not going to be just blabbing on, but I just kind of want to give you insight on what inspired the build. Um, I don't have any room to wear in my collection for nothing like this. Um, you know, that's my dream one day to have enough space where I can just have all type of things set up and, you know, room to display my models more like I want to. Because I want to do like a whole little city. I'm always talking about a whole little city diorama, but here we are, guys. It's a lot going on here, so it might take me a, a little second to explain this. Um, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna take the this is the top, the lid, rather that I built for it. Comes up, comes off actually. Take it off now. Looking down into here, gang, it's a lot going on. I'm going to explain everything to you in just a second. Let's start from the outside. This front of the diorama right here, guys, is where it all started. Um, I got a video, videos up on how I built all the front of this. We got uh, our doors in, our functioning doors. Just slide up and down. And sometimes when they sit for a while, they get kind of stiff because of the paint. So just a tip, bit guys, a tip, Ken. If you, uh, for instance, you raise it up like that and you leave it for a while, for like a few days or so, they're gonna get stuck up. Try not to pull it down from right here. You can just put your hand up at the top of it. And at the back of the top of the window, you can just press on it. It's easy to go down like that. But, yeah, I got them three doors. I explain how I build them. 
Got another door right here. The same deal. I made this one out of corrugated paper. You know, like a garage so you can't see through it. Okay, we got an entryway here. Um, and that's pretty much it in the front. And that's our, our, our lobby right there, our service lobby. So, going into the inside, guys, I've done three car lifts. Show you guys. That's supposed, this is supposed to be a two post car lift. I got another two post car lift next to it. This one kind of didn't come out so good. I built them all at one time, man. Once I got it glued together, this arm is a little bit off on this one. But the car still sits up on there. Pretty good. Should get that truck out so you can get a better view. This, book, this basically took some wood pieces and some more wood pieces to build that. And I glued it down. Over here, check this out. I haven't glued it down yet, so I'm gonna pull it out for you. It's the four post car lift that I built. Custom built. Basically out of um, just wood, craft wood. Some square wood pieces. Built some flaps out of the skinny sticks. The car just basically sits up there on it like that the later video guys I'll show you guys how to build this it's how to make everything get it all painted up and basically I'm gonna glue that one down and in this garage into here just letting you know Ken I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it down I don't know let me know in the comments Ken if you want me to glue this this last one down or leave it out. Same thing with, I just built a little cabinet to go all the way across the bottom of here. And basically all it is, is foam board. All I did was uh, glue some foam board together, painted it red, uh, put some, the black is actually poster board. I cut out little square pieces and glued it. Glued them on. Then I took some gray paint. Just made, uh, painted some knobs and handles. And on the top, you know, that's all it is. It's foam board, guys. Got it like that. I just built it to actually give you some work, a workbench or a workspace right there. I was actually planning on gluing that down also so it won't be moving around. Over here, oh, the lights, guys. Let me turn the lights on. Now, this light thing that I added to this diorama, guys, uh, they're kind of crappy. They, they're not as bright as I would like them to be. I'm just going to turn them on and show you guys. I got my light box over here. And there they go. Got them going all the way around the hole whole shop on the inside of here going around the inside of this wall you know all the way around pretty much pretty much so back here in the back of this is like the little mechanic work area behind it I have like a showroom uh, Another thing, I'm, I, this is a kind of a tight space, guys. This really sucks for the presentation. I'm trying to pull it out soon. This guy synced this as I was building it. I got my glass doors right here. On the outside, far inside, I have another sliding door here that I incorporated. 
So you can slide this back and forth to get cars in and out. So just knock the box down, guys. But to get cars in and out from the inside out, you can, you know, got my door there. Window door. So that's another part of the diorama. So I moved on to close this part in right here. Which I built like some, cut some doors out to the foam board. Now, this is the first time I ever done doors like this, guys. Turned out pretty good. This is like the little area where you, I guess, you got to pull a car out when it's done to get ready to show it to the customer. That's why I got the door you can't see through in the front. So when the door opens and the car comes out, Customer will be able to see a fresh, freshly done whip, like it's a custom paint shop or something. <laughs> but we also got the uh, paint booth back here, looking really nice. Actually, got lights going all the way around inside of the paint booth as well. My first time ever doing a paint booth, so <clears throat> excuse me, that came out pretty dope. It's a lot of first times in this, in this diorama, guys. Not a first time, uh, bathroom got my custom made built toilet and sink, guys. That I built out of, out of wood, most of wood, and carved it and shaved it. Show you guys how to do that again. A lot of things that I didn't show you guys. Got my toilet paper roll that I built myself. Actually, real toilet paper on there. And outside of the workshop, this is just the waiting area. I was going to do more cheers and whatnot. I just did a desk. This is not quite completed yet. I got a, um, basically got a phone board. This is supposed to be a couple of computer screens and a, and a couple of keyboards. I was going to add some wires and a mouse and, and paint it around the keyboards a little bit, around the edge of the keyboard, which I haven't done yet. But again, I was going to glue this into place. It's another question for you, Ken, if you want me to glue this down into the lobby or you can move it around. I can just leave it. I can just tape it down or something, and maybe you can just put it wherever you want. I also did a little bench. Out of basically just foam board on the side with some craft sticks. Just another piece that uh, I'll probably just leave loose, and you can just, I'm just clumsy today. You can just put it anywhere you want inside of your waiting room. I was gonna do, I was gonna do a couple of these. So I might do another one, just so you can have more seating. Um, and in the back, guys, another thing. I got a dyno machine that I've built for the back of the shop. And I also added another door here on this side. I haven't opened it in a while. It's kind of stuck. Oh, there you go. So, this is kind of different. It's a corrugated paper. <clears throat> it's hard to kind of see everything right now, guys, because I got so much stuff on my table. But, around here, you just, you know, it's a garage I can just pull in. And I got my dyno set up. Um, move some cars around. This is not attached. This is my fans. Supposed to be my fans for my dyno machine. You know, that's to blow them, keep the car cool while it's on the dyno. I built this out of basically foam boards. Um, put 
put some glue, some um, kind of rubbery stuff I got from Dollar Tree on there to, to give it a little grip, a little style. Show you the bottom of it. Just to show you guys, this actually is some foam board. The ramps is just three pieces glued together, side by side, and cut. And I put a piece of poster board on top of the. Uh, I'm only got one here, but right on top, put a piece of poster board, and then I put a piece of this black mesh stuff going along it also. So that's just my dyno track. Got it where I can pretty much just fit any car up on there. And the fans. And that's just the, the computer part of it. Again, I just took some foam board, made a little keyboard build, built in keyboard. Try to make a computer screen. If you read it, some stuff on there that you can read, some of it. You can't. Just some scribble scrabble. I think I came out pretty nice though. I'm gonna add some wires. I still want to add a wire from that to the from sorry about the view right there too, guys. I'm gonna add a wire connected to it, I guess. Give it a little more a little more pizzazz. Let me see. Uh so this guys I got this from Dollar Tree. When I say wire, this is what I mean. I got some black, some red, some silver, little thin wire. It's, um, it's a wire set. So that's good for adding like little details. When I have like plugs or wires or something in my, like I'm gonna use some of that black for the keyboard. I'm gonna do a mouse, make a little small mouse. I'm gonna glue it down to the the table but yeah gang that's it's pretty much it add all my lighting add a little more detail on this side uh, it's hard to show guys that space is crazy but on this side you know the other window this is the window Outside of the bathroom, gotta have the window in there. Then I just put this little box right here on the side to hold the uh, battery pack. Again, this is all one um, one string of lights going around the whole thing. Like I said, they're not very bright. Kind of a disappointment because it took me a lot of work to actually string this one set of lights all the way around. Just hold that around and bring it back right here. And I build like a little foam box just to hold the to hold the battery pack. It takes three double A batteries. Slide it right in there. Uh, papers can slide back in there and everything. So that's pretty dope. It turned out pretty good. Kind of disappointed with the lighting, but what could I do, you know? Um, just a point of advice, if it, if it can, I actually you want to add some more bright lights to this. I suggest you could just get a LED light strip, one of the bright ones, and just basically run it along the top of your roof. Like, you know, and then when you close it up, That'll brighten up the whole inside of it, but like now I put the roof on, it kind of gets dark in certain spots and you can't see all the way back up in there, you know, so. It's more like ambient lighting or just, you know, not good for lighting it up. But other than that, gang, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to go over that with you guys. I'm going to be messaging you soon, KJ. 
uh, to get your shipping information, figure out when I'm going to get this shipped out. Uh, once again, thank you for your patience. It's, it went a long ways. I truly appreciate it. I was able to take my time on it and work on it, you know, how I wanted to work on it. So, uh, appreciate all you guys um, and Diecast Gang. Um, once again, if you watch me for the first time, you know, smash the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on, hit the bell, turn on all post notifications. Um, I'm trying to get another video out to you guys real soon. It's another build following this build. As soon as I get this out of here and out the way, and my workshop straighten up a little bit, I'm going to be starting right away on another diorama. Uh, hopefully this one don't take five months to do. <laughs> uh, working on back on the 124 scale. So just to give you guys a brief little detail of what's going to be coming, I'm going to do another diorama. I don't have none of my lights on over here. I'm going to do another diorama like this one right here. Which was basically just a garage. It's actually going to be way better than this from what I'm envisioning. You know, this is going to be my next project, guys. And this is for a client, somebody that reached out. I'm trying to start getting into the, the client builds slowly but surely, you know. I only have a niche of time, I mean a little niche of time to do stuff with now, but this is what I enjoy doing guys, this is my passion, I didn't try, I'm not trying to um, turn my passion into something that I really, you know, I'm not trying to kill my passion, you know, so that's what I'm trying to say, like, I want to continue to enjoy doing this, so I'm not trying to put more on myself then you know i can handle it's gonna you know just make me stressed out so uh once again shout out to you guys thanks for watching until next time guys please have a good night be blessed